Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, but I'm back. Um, I literally just woke up, so like, don't be mean. But I don't know why I like to start my videos like first thing in the morning looking like this. People probably click on my videos. They're like, mm, no, I'm good. But anyways, today I'm going to be filming like a day in the life because I haven't filmed one of those in like, I think four years. So... I feel like nobody really knows what I do in my life. I don't even know what I do in my life, so I figured maybe if I film it, we can both figure it out together. But yeah, today's gonna be like a very typical day for me. So yeah, I figured it'd be fun to record it. Maybe not, I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge. But anyways, I hope you enjoy and yeah. let's do this. I'm gonna go make some coffee though. Winston, come on. Go downstairs. Hey. <laughs> Can we go downstairs? Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, come here. She ruined your ear. Come. Come. Okay. 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 Everybody's here. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Winston and my other dog over there had this girly and I have no idea how. Come here. Come here, you crazies. Hey, mamas. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. After 16 and a half tries, my lashes are still barely on, but um, it's gonna have to do because I'm running late. So, let's go, shall we? All right, sorry for this camera angle, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, this girl on YouTube that I watched her videos, she ordered this drink from Starbucks and it sounded so good. So I'm gonna try it. It's a coffee frappuccino, and then you get, I got it with soy milk, and then you add peppermint syrup to it. I'm so excited. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? It's hot. Yeah? Drink some coffee. I'm not a coffee person. Try this. Soy and peppermint? It's a coffee frappuccino. I'm gonna make a little extra so I can try some. <laughs> All right, thank you. Said so he's gonna make a little extra so he can try some. I go ahead, go ahead. He's like, I'm tired. I'm like, you work at Starbucks, drink some coffee now. It's like, I don't like coffee. Well, but no work at Starbucks. Just kidding. Thank you. If I don't like that, we'll be mad. Alright. I've honestly never tried it before. <laughs> so you set me up. Wow. Can I get a straw? Oh, you gave me a straw. Yeah. It's pretty good. I you like it? it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Thank you, you too. He hated it. He absolutely freaking hated it. Oh. You see that? Yeah. So it's good. Like, I'm gonna drink it, but. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you would like it if you wanna try it. It's just a little bit too sweet for me. But it's good. It grows on you. I don't know. I think maybe the peppermint syrup is a little 
too much. All right, guys, so I just got to my manufacturing facility and I am gonna try to show you guys. I'm here to just try on some samples that hopefully are gonna be perfect because I'm trying to get this holiday collection out as soon as possible. I don't think I can park here. But, so I'm gonna try on some samples and then I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of where I manufacture everything because I know a lot of people are curious. So yeah, this is just uh, an average work day. I'm in Miami right now. I manufacture everything in Miami and I would say I come here like three times a week just to like see how everything's going, try on some samples, new cuts, new fabrics coming in. It gets pretty crazy, but um, it's low-key my favorite part because it's where I get all creative and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what's good in the hood. By the way, um, I give this drink like a 6 out of 10. I still drank it, it was just a little nauseating, but, but good, so good. Alright, let's go. These are new bodysuits that I'm working on that are going to come out hopefully soon also for the holidays. It's like maroon and nude. So cute. And then I'm going to show you guys low-key where all the magic happens so these are all of our patterns and this is basically how a style starts off so then basically he lays out the fabric across his whole table and he cuts it by hand like you see him doing and you get all of this This shit gets me so excited. All right guys, so now I'm in the other room where we have all of the fabrics and I, you can't really talk in there because he's cutting and it's super loud, but I just want to say that he's literally the best at what he does. Like he's an OG because he does it the old school way. So basically he takes those patterns that I showed you and lays each one out individually and cuts it by hand individually. And it's like, an old school way of doing it but it's the best way to minimize the waste of fabric because it's kind of complicated but when you use a, use a machine like most people do it leaves like an inch or two between every pattern so you waste a lot of fabric so this way we don't waste any fabric and you maximize your cuts and your patterns and yeah so he's literally the best at what he does and he cuts every single disruptive youth piece by hand which is insane but also, um, quick little shout out to the woman that runs this whole operation, this whole manufacturing facility. She is literally my queen and I'm not going to show you her face or say her name for identity purposes because she is mine and nobody can have her. But I love her and she is the second woman behind Disruptive Youth and everything that we do. So I'm so grateful for her. And I just wanted to give her a quick little shout out because she deserves it. If you're watching this, I love you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to leave, but look at all that fabric. Mm. So much. So beautiful. Obsessed. Alright, I'm just walking out. Um got some restock on inventory. This is literally all just biker shorts. Um, I'm actually wearing a pair right now. Let me see if I can show you guys really quick because I'm literally obsessed with these. They're the pro biker shorts, but they just fit so good. I'm literally obsessed with these biker shorts. I have like five of them, but these are literally just all biker shorts to restock because they sell out so quick. And we're off. Okay. So um, I got a few samples with me that are finally done. You guys have no idea how long it takes to make something perfect. Like, girl, you'd think it, it's easy, but I'm literally sweating. I've literally come and tried on the same sample, I'm not exaggerating, six times. Six times. And it's always just a little tiny change that you need to make, but it makes Sorry, I need the air on, it's so hot. Let me sacrifice for a second so I can talk. 
so yeah it takes um a lot just to make one perfect sample and yeah so you guys know that with every design there's a lot of thought and work put into it um it's not as easy as it looks but it's very rewarding it's crazy because i'll be like scrolling through instagram and just come across a girl and i'm like looking through her pictures and then i just see her in like one of my bikinis and i'm like wow like that's absolutely insane um thank you guys so much for supporting me and my ideas and my work i really appreciate it but i need to show you this look at how weird they are this is like their favorite toy let me see it let me see it they love the coconuts okay 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 so we have coconut trees and so the dead coconuts like fall down look at them savages and they literally will rip this thing apart to, well it's already ripped up see they like already got to the middle of it but you see all the little coconut shavings everywhere they'll like rip it up like shred by shred who wants it and it's the craziest thing i've ever seen like they're obsessed with coconuts it's funny because winston actually started doing it like he used to do it all the time and then his daughter learned how to do it right mama you learn from your dad he's a pretty girl and then now the mommy does it even because she saw them doing it so see it like starts like this <laughs> okay and then they like shred it up who wants it oh, whoa sit good girl it's a pretty girl, ready? Oh, whoa! I just realized my camera's been on the wrong setting this entire video. Love that. All right, so it's like five o'clock, so I'm gonna make myself a little snack because I have to go work out in like an hour. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna have some honey nut Cheerios. And then, I really like this new milk that I've been having. It's almond breeze, but it has bananas in it. It's so delicious. Mm, I actually haven't had these in so long. I went grocery shopping yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I deserve some Honey Nut Cheerios. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. My big thing when I'm like eating, a lot of people ask me what my like diet is and I'm a really firm believer. That if you restrict yourself, you're just gonna want it more. So like if you want a little bit of cereal, like Honey Nut Cheerios, Lucky Charms, do it. If not, then one day you're just gonna end up eating a whole bag. Maybe that's just me. Don't break your back. Oh, hey, 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 you're gonna scratch my feet off. <laughs> give a kiss, yes. Oh, I'm gonna give you a kiss. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, 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 Winston. He literally loves chewing on my hair. Hey, stop. Hey, hey, I'm not going to say it again. Winston. <laughs> I can't even get mad at him. He's so stupid. <laughs> so can you stop? <laughs> I see you. What happened? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. Come back. God forbid you can't chew my hair off. Come here. Let's be friends. No, relax, puppy. No. No. <laughs> if you're wondering what it's like having a French bulldog. <laughs> As long as you're comfortable. Alright, see you guys at the gym. No, you're not coming. Alright, so I'm walking into the gym right now. I honestly have no idea what I'm working out today. Because I worked out legs the day before yesterday and I'm so super sore. And then I came in and did a little cardio by myself yesterday. So I don't know what I'm working out today, but... I guess we'll see what my boy Justin has planned. Also, a quick little shout out. I'm wearing Disruptive Youth sports bra. Literally my favorite sports bra ever. It's like the only one I ever wear. And then Disruptive Youth leggings. Cute little matching suit. 
You know what I'm saying? Link in description. Check it out. Alright. It's a miracle. I'm actually here before him. I'm coming, motherfucker. Where are you? I'm coming. We're coming. You guys are playing basketball? Yeah, yeah. We're playing ball. While I'm here waiting? Alright, I'm coming. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I already know he's about to get so extra when he sees the camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> I literally said, I'm like, I already know he's about to get so extra when he sees the camera. Yeah. And you start twerking. Yeah. So I get down on mm hmm You ready? So, yeah, I'm making a little vlog. Why don't you tell them what we're doing today? We're going to do something crazy. Okay. Something we've never done before means we've done it a thousand times. I wanted to do some uh, hip thrusts, make that ass poke out. But I'm so sore. I don't care. Um, so do some hip thrusts, do some lunges, do some squat jumps, do the usual. Fuck her up a little bit. You ready? Yeah. So am I gonna take control of the camera now? Sure. Is that what we're doing? Sure. Let's go. Go for it, you're gonna make me run. You're gonna run first, yeah. Gotta do it now since you're on here. I look so stupid when I run. She looks stupid regardless. Huh? Let's go. Yes. I better look good on this camera. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, she almost tripped and fell. Look at that shit. I'm glad it's a vlog so you can see all this shit. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yeet. I want to do it. You want to do it? Yeah. Oh, shit. She about to go run. She don't even know. That's a run? Yep. It's going to turn itself. Keep going. Just walk. Let's walk. Oh my god. We can give it to Savannah. She fucks it up. Alright, let's go. Go ahead. You don't have to run. You can lunge. Nice and long step. Long step. Let's go. Come on. Go. Go. Stay low. Stay low. Makes it easier when you're low. Right. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's so cute doing it. Let's go. Come on. Stay low. Yes. Now turn around. Going back the other way. Come on. I know it's not. Look, look, look at this poor thing. Look, 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 look at this shit. Let's go. Stay low. Go. Come on. Go. Nice and low. Nice and low. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. You got it. You got and drop. What's the type of workout called that I do? High intensity. Yes. You want to explain about that? I got you. So what we're doing here is we're trying to make sure that she doesn't f up. No, I'm just kidding. So high intensity training is just trying to keep everything loose, make sure that her uh, body doesn't get really tired and fatigued really fast. Because if it does, then she's gonna have some. Uh, definitely some type of injury that she's going to get soon if she continues to fuck up like this and stops for no fucking reason I right, did and she's tired of shit and we didn't even do nothing yet which is sad but I love her though oh my god this is what we're dealing with it's recording it is recording okay I told you guys when I was walking in that I was still really sore from my workout I honestly didn't think he was gonna make me hit legs so this might not be my best work. I just want to put that out. Lord have mercy. Look at that form. It took me so long to get her to do some good form, but now she's doing good form. Come on. Yes. Get it. All the way across. All the way across. Let's go. We're going to mess them quads up and drop. Now squat jumps. Let's go. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Already tied. Come on. Get up. Let's go. Down, up, one, two. We do like the whole slow motion thing. <laughs> Let's go, down and up. Watch those feet, spread them out. Left and right, right. Let's go, down, up, one, up, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, if only y'all knew the position I'm in to get this angle. 
It's ridiculous. Come on. We got five, four, three, two, and drop. Come on. Going all the way across, all the way back. I like your leggings. I love your leggings. I just love your sports bra. I just want to get one for myself. Of course it is. I like the plug she just did right there. That was a good plug. Go ahead. I might need to give me a pair. Probably make my ass look fat as shit. Come on. Beautiful. Drop, go down. You gonna give me that last one? Give me that last one. Thank you. All right, squat jump, let's go. Last set. Seven, come on. Eight, nine, 10, one. salad and I figured I'd show you because I make this a lot it's pretty healthy so I just used some baby kale and baby arugula obviously you guys can use whatever lettuce you want I use also like mix spring mix a lot but this is what I got so you get like some nice fat handfuls and then I'm gonna put these patties on top. I love these. They're like literally so easy to make. You just put them in the microwave for a minute. Usually for salads, I like the veggie ones, but I only have the buffalo right now. So you basically just put it in the microwave. You put it for one minute on one side and then like 30 seconds on the other side. And then I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil. All right, my camera died, so I'm gonna try to do this really quick because I only charged it for like five minutes. But what I was gonna say is I like kind of like mixing this with my hand just so the oil gets distributed properly and then I cut up my buffalo chicken patty and a couple tomatoes so I'm just gonna throw that in and then just a little bit of salt pepper and then you can throw a little bit I like to put a little bit of shaved parmesan on top just for a little flavor Beautiful, healthy salad. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Bye. All right, guys, I'm about to leave my house, but I just, I forgot to show you the skirts that I wanted to try on for you guys, and I wish I could show you, like, the whole outfit, but unfortunately, the tops needed, like, one more little modification before they're perfect. So I'm just gonna show you the skirts now, but comment down below if you guys want to see, like, a full try-on when my holiday collection is finally done, and I'll do that also. But for now, I just want to show you the skirt because I'm obsessed. This one's honestly my favorite. And I am wearing underwear, but you just like hike them up like above your hips, so you literally can't see it. Let me show you like one other skirt that I have. This one's like kind of more simple, but still like really, really cute. All right guys, this is the second skirt. So it's literally just a little skirt like this. And what do you guys think? Cute, adorable, sexy so um if you've been following my me or my company you know that i made these skirts hey hey you know that i made these skirts a while ago and they literally sold out so quick and everybody was like please bring them back please bring them back but i honestly wanted to find a better fabric for them because i really liked the first run that we did but i wanted something a little bit 
more like day to night style, like a little sexier. So I finally found this fabric and I'm literally obsessed. It's like, I made a lot of the holiday in this because I don't know, I just feel like it's like, it has like a good weight. It's like slinky, sexy, a little sheen to it. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Nobody in this house can let me be great. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my day in the life. Um, not too crazy exciting, kind of boring, but still I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, ring my bell for post notifications because you never know when I'm gonna upload a video. And yeah, also comment some ideas that you wanna see in the future because um, I never really know what to film. And I kind of just like wing it, but if you guys comment and let me know what you like 100% want to see, then I'll definitely film that. So let me know. I love you guys. Thank you again for watching. Bye.